welcome to Miranda Made. In today's video, I thought I would do a flip through of this lovely book. It's called 101 Ways to Save with Your Sewing Machine. Domestic Sewing Machine Company Incorporated. So this is a really unique book that I have not seen anywhere else. Um, so I thought I would show you this book. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here it is. These, aren't the graphics so pretty? Um, so I'm going to say this is probably 1950s, maybe 1940s. Um, from the graphics, there is no printed date on it, so I can't be 100% sure. But I would say the hairstyles to me look 1950s. I'm not 100% sure, but this haircut to me looks 1950s. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Okay, so here's our contents. We have savings on makeovers for little angels. So we have something for children. Savings on clothes for the toddler. Savings on teenage clothes. Savings on men's clothes. Saving smartly on your own apparel. Saving on home decoration. Savings on dolls and toys. Eddie the Teddy and Jerome the Giraffe. Tips that save time, temper, and money. So it looks really fun and really cute. What this is all about. Somewhere in your house is a sewing machine in the dining room, the living room, in the corner of a closet, or perhaps even hidden away in a dark attic. In these pages are many ideas, big and little, for using that machine and saving on things you want for yourself, your family, and your home. You can sew from all the designs illustrated here with little effort and big effect. Directions are easy to follow, so even young folks and beginners can use them successfully. In most cases, all you need is your machine and that bag full of remnants you've been saving for so long. So let's get started. Very friendly and inviting. Savings on makeovers for little angels. So here we have several different items. Um, I love this one. This is a patch that you can sew to put over any holes that might have occurred on your child's clothing. And uh, here's how you can make min mittens or a little apron that they can store their school supplies. If you're a homeschooling mom, this might be fun to use. And then um, making a little jumper or a sundress, which has some shirring in it. This would be really fast to make probably. Or a baby dress with a handkerchief yoke. That's really cute if you come across some old handkerchiefs. That might be really pretty. Savings on clothes for the toddlers. We've got a quilt cover for the baby's crib, a baby bonnet. We've got a Peter Rabbit um, bib, an embroidered bib, a mother hen bib, a slip over apron. And with these graphics, you could even, you can trace them um, onto your fabric and embroider them. Savings on teenage clothes. Look at that, that is really cute. Make this bag of felt, wool, or fail. Fail, fall, I'm not sure. Barn dance skirt. Belted poncho jacket. This is fine, but I mean, not really a necessary item, I suppose, but it could be a nice fashion accessory. Belt to match your beret. So that's kind of fun. Of course, I'm sure this could be adapted for adults as well. Savings on men's clothes. Make his ties yourself. Him stitch a handkerchief. I did make a handkerchief before. You'll sing while you sew this easy to make bathrobe. The bathrobe looks really interesting. I would like to make one of those because even for myself, um, bathrobes are um, not that cheap to buy, but I think I could make it out of some like towel material fairly cheaply. Washable bath slippers looks really cool. I never thought of sewing my own shoes. Saving smartly on your own apparel. 
Bertha Collar Covers Out Moated Shoulder Line. So you make a collar, a paneled overskirt. Not necessary again, but a nice decor addition. Colorful stole, robe with flyaway back, silk scarf blouse. So those look pretty interesting. Saving on home decorations. We have dress up an old lampshade. Gay plastic table mats. I'm not a big fan of plastic, but I suppose you can make it also with cloth. Um, window shades made from remnants. Bedspreads are quick to make. Make a yarn throw rug on your sewing machine. This would be interesting to do. Kitchen curtains of plastic film. Uh, plastic. <laughs> well, plastic must have been becoming big in the 1950s. But this one looks really good. Savings on dolls and toys. So here's a Judy doll you can make. And her dress and her apron, which would be really fun to make for your child. We have Eddie the Teddy and Jerome the Giraffe, that you can also copy these patterns from. Tips that save time, temper, and money. There's a several things here. Um, one I thought that was interesting was, maybe it's on the next page. Oh, yeah, here's a good one. An easy way to keep buttons, pins, snap fasteners, needles, and other small sewing items separate and quickly identifiable is to keep them in small glass bottles. So I definitely do this all the time. I hang on to any little glass bottles I get and I reuse them for that. When you sew rickrack braid in a straight line, hold it in place with scotch tape. Hmm, never thought of that. Stitch right through the tape and peel it off when the seam is finished. That's an interesting idea. So there's tons of little ideas in here. And this one I thought is super, a uh, super cute idea. To keep track of the little toddler, sew two tiny Christmas bells on his shoes, the kind of bells that come with Christmas packages. This would be really easy to do and um, very um, helpful if you have a little one walking around the house and you're wondering what they're doing, put little bells on their shoes. Although we don't happen to wear shoes in the house, but maybe if we had socks and put the, the bell on the sock, that would work for us. So yeah, I thought this was a really nice little book and um, I hope you enjoyed this little flip through Maybe at some point I will make it accessible to everyone online, um, but I don't yet have any kind of thing present online, but perhaps in the future, if you're interested, you can let me know and I can figure out how to make this accessible online. I hope you have enjoyed this video today. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.